Hey guys, what's going on? You are back at the Clever TV studio. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis. Hey guys. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and we're so excited to have one of our favorites back in the studio. It's Ariana Grande. Hello. Now applause for you. Yay. I love it. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Of course. So we're celebrating the brand new release of your first official single, Put yeah. Your Hearts Up. How are you feeling right now? I mean, um, this is official. Because we're excited. Yeah. Are you excited? <laughs> I'm excited. I'm very excited. I'm overwhelmed. I'm so happy that I finally have something that I've written and some music out. And I'm so excited because I love the message of the song, which is like the most important part to me. And I got to work with some amazing writers on it, including Linda Perry, who is amazingly supportive of us using her hook. So it's all very exciting. I'm so happy that it's out there now. So as far as writing the song goes, where did your inspiration come from for this track? Well, you know, everyone puts their hearts up all the time. And so, I mean, you have to sort of jump on the train and yeah. just like, you know, write a song about it, I guess. And um, Matt Squire, who has done a lot of my album, and um, he was one of the main writers on the song. And he's so talented, and I'm so happy that I got to work with him on this whole, whole project, because he's just so talented. And what is the meaning, like when we put our hearts up, like what does that mean? The actual yes. symbol? Yes, like what is this? Well, I guess it just means love, but just love. the song is about how one little act of kindness or one small little gesture of love and niceness randomly during your day can ultimately affect the world. And because, you know, like the worst thing in the world, I don't know if this makes me a weird person, but like if I see a stranger and randomly like make eye contact with them, mm -hmm. I'm not like one to be like, Oh, and like just like look away because it's awkward and weird. But like I just I'll just be like oh I'll like smile whatever. And like the worst feeling in the world is when someone doesn't smile back. So like <laughs> it's the it's little the things. Worst, yeah, yes. it's the little things. It's like it's a song about how little things can really affect everyone. Very so true. true. It's yeah. so true. And you have a brand new music video for this yes. track. For anyone who hasn't seen us, tell us tell us a little bit about it. Well, um, we shot it on the Universal back lot, which is really exciting because I love Universal Studios and whenever I go there, even though I, I'm on a TV show and I get to be on set all day long, for some reason I love going on the Universal back lot tour and it's like literally <laughs> one of my favorite things Touristy to do. Touristy thing. It's a touristy for you. thing. 45 minutes of my life wasted every single time I go. It's the longest tour of all time. Literally, <laughs> like 50 minutes later, you're like, I need to eat. And like, it's just the best. For some reason, they feel the need to spray you with water every three minutes on that tour. <laughs> it's like, actually true. Why does every I attraction at Universal need to spray Freezing, you with water? Though. They're like, oh, it's we're on Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, a drop on a roller coaster. <laughs> like, no reason. <laughs> But, um, you know, and so we shot it there, which is very exciting. And um, on the breaks, you know, when the tram went by, they had to like detour the tram so that it wouldn't go near our video set or whatever. But like, I really wanted to go and like wave to the tram. Like, I wanted to not like, a part of the tour. I okay. wanted to like pop out of the psycho set and like <laughs> be in the Jaws, like be on Jaws, like riding him as they like <laughs> drive by. It was really fun though. And it's sort of like, an, it was on the 1930s New York set. So it's a little bit of a mockery of old musicals, like sort of enchanted mm -hmm. type thing. Like you know when the Jamaican guy's like, that's how you know, that's how you know. Yes, <laughs> yes! Yeah. It's very much like that. And then we got almost 100 of my fans to be in the end shot. Oh, that's so awesome. cool. Yeah, so, so that was really cool. There's obviously some choreography involved, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a little bit of choreography. Um, I'm wearing a huge pink dress in it. So Ooh. my choreography was limited, um, but I have amazing dancers, and some of them I flew in from New York, because um, I had worked with them a bunch of times before, and they're so talented, and they're such great people. I really wanted them to be in the video with me, because it's such a special thing. But um, I also met some new dancers out here in LA, and they're in it as well, and I'm looking forward to working with them, with them again. Very and cool. I just stuttered, but it's okay. <laughs> it's all excitement. It's all pure excitement. But, um, <laughs> And um, yeah, there's a little bit of, oh yeah, and in the bridge of the song, we do a little homage to Singing in the Rain. And I get to splash around in my pink dress with the umbrella. That is so Good. cool. Yeah. Now I have to say, you know, we've had you on the show a bunch of times and we've talked about your music and your original music and as you're working on it, the whole journey and process. And now that it's out and it's coming out, you know, more music in the, in the spring as well, 
What does it feel like for you? Is this surreal or? It is surreal because music has been a huge passion of mine forever. I mean, I was a little girl and my mom would be playing Madonna and Donna Summer throughout the house and Michael Jackson and music was always a huge part of my life. And so now that I'm finally getting to release my own music, I've been singing for a long time since I was like born. But like, you know, now I have songs that I can call my own and songs mm -hmm. that I've written and songs that I have helped vocal produce and songs that I've been there for every step of the way and that I can really relate to and they're sort of like a direct reflection of me. So A, it's like I feel like my fans can get to know me better and B, I'm just so happy to like be creating and finally putting music out there. Uh, what's and the, a good feeling. What's the sound yeah. like overall? Because you have such an amazing voice. We're huge fans oh, thank you. Um, of your YouTube channel. And of course, you know, you've been on Broadway and you've kind of done it all. So what is your own personal Ariana sound like? Um, my sound is like retro, old school, but contemporary at the same time. It's like, mm -hmm. it's like, I, like, well, my main influences for the album were Amy Winehouse, Mariah Carey, Fergie, and, um, you know, Whitney Houston, Donna mm -hmm. Summer. Um, so it's a, it's a mixture between, like, old school pop princesses and today, new you ones. know? New ones. And, like, the Shirelles, Leslie Gore, Connie Francis, like, retro meets contemporary, yeah. And in the cover art, I have, like, a little retro microphone, and it's really exciting. Aww. Actually, in the, in the cover art, I'm wearing a bullet bra and, like, a skirt, and it's so funny because the inspiration for the artwork came from an old underwear ad that I that I saw. My friend Isaac showed it to me, and they're all <laughs> wearing like these bullet bras with these little skirts, and they have like animal heads on, and they're doing Whoa, these like ridiculous like. 30 Can you please moves. send us a photo? I will. It's really. I want to see this. Me too. <laughs> so yeah, so that's where we got the outfit idea for the cover of it. Oh fun! Yeah, yeah, original it's funny. too. That's hilarious. It's really awesome. funny. <laughs> and they're doing such funny poses. <laughs> Yeah, I'm all just hanging out in Animal House. I'm sure all your fans out there want to hear a little bit about your new music. Um, when can we expect a full-length album? I don't know yet. I, I mean, I'm, I know that a lot of it is already done, but I'm not mm -hmm. really sure when it's coming out yet because, of course, I'm doing Victorious at the same time, right. which has been amazingly fun, and I can't wait for everyone to see all the new Victorious episodes as well. But I haven't had a second to ask anyone when it's coming out. <laughs> and mean, you're just busy working hard, right? I'm working hard, yeah, but I I don't know, I hope soon. I'm hoping, you know, like first or second quarter of 2012, hopefully. So springish. Spring, spring or summerish. Spring or summerish, yeah. Very, very cool. Yeah. Now speaking <laughs> of, you know, you mentioned your fans are looking forward to this. You have some of the most dedicated fans in existence. Yeah. We already talked about this before we started rolling, but you're basically a trending topic on Twitter like twice a week, twice a it's day true. sometimes. <laughs> um, how did, well, what's the deal with your fans? They're awesome. They are, they're amazing. I don't know what the deal is. They're just <laughs> they're like, great. They're the they coolest. Really are. They really are. And I just, I don't know. My mom and I sometimes, like at night, we'll go through all their tweets and read them, and like my mom will start crying. And oh. so, like, it's really, it's really heartwarming and it's overwhelming. And they're so dedicated and so loyal. I feel just so blessed. I'm, it's overwhelming. They're ridiculous. They're so crazy. And the trending topics they come up with are so creative too. They're like, Cupcake Princess Ariana Wonder. <laughs> oh. like, like, you know, it can't be sweeter they're than so that. They're so cute, but they, you know, they, they're just the best. Oh, I like exciting. that one. So looking forward into the next year with your music career, what would you be most excited to see with it? With my music? Yeah. Um, I don't know, I hope that my fans are pleased with it, and I hope that I get to meet a whole bunch of new fans because of it. Um, I hope that everyone likes it. You know, I want it to be listenable to all ages, and I want, like, parents to be able to listen to it, and of course, have all of my fans that are younger be able to like it as well. So it's hard, it's a hard thing to capture, but I'm hoping that I'm doing a good job of it so far. Like, I love when I see tweets that are like, my mom loves listening to Put Your Hearts Up With Me, because it's like, Good, so good, cool. I like that. You know, I want it to be listenable to all ages, you know? I don't yeah. want it to be, like, something where the kids want to listen to but the parents are like... <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on, yeah. 
Exactly. Yeah, I want it to be enjoyable for everyone. And I'm sure people would love, love, love to see you out on the tour road, mm -hmm. which would be so <laughs> cool. Um, is that something you're hoping to do in the near future, or? I hope so. I don't know. I hope they receive the album well and that everyone likes it. And it makes me really nervous thinking about a tour right now because there's, you know, victorious and writing more music and finishing the album and mm -hmm. even getting the album out first and hoping that it's received well. So there's a lot that has to happen first. But um, I I would love to do a tour. I love traveling and I love performing so nothing about that seems like it would be a bad time yeah what's so special about performing live because we've seen you perform live you're amazing thank you um i don't know i think the most fun thing about performing live is seeing how the audience is gonna receive the song and what they're gonna think about the you know if they're actually gonna put their hearts up or not <laughs> um you know it's, it's adrenaline it's 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 very enthralling to perform live it's like it's like, you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't. Anything I, can happen. You know, when yeah, I was in 13 right? with Liz, my shoe fell off in the opening number. Like, a, <laughs> like a three times this happened. And it was on three of the most important nights. The first night was when my best friend was there for the first time. She was sitting in the front row and I was doing the choreography and all of a sudden my shoe flew off. And I, <laughs> I, had to like, I had to like work it into the choreography to pick it up at the end and I didn't know what to do. But you know, I don't know. I think the most fun thing about performing live is seeing what's gonna happen and how everyone receives it. And, seeing little people out there watching. I don't know, it's cool. It it's is cool. cool. It's like my dharma. I feel very comfortable. Mm -hmm. You can tell that you're at home on stage. Like totally. when they watch you, you're a true you can performer. really tell that you're at home there. And you know, as I'm sitting here listening to you talk, I'm thinking there's so many people in your generation right now, as far as entertainers go, who are just really on their game. You know, we cover like Demi Lovato, Taylor Swift. Is there anybody out there in your generation that you really respect and like their career or would like to collaborate with maybe? Well, yeah, Grayson is an incredible, incredibly, ridiculously, amazingly oh. talented person. And he is one of the strongest young performers, I think today he you know he teaches himself every song there is to know on the piano and then he does it live and doesn't trip a note and even if it does it's like he makes it into like a rock thing like <laughs> he and his voice is spectacular that's a gift you can't like go to voice lessons to learn how to sing like that he has a gift and he's so talented I think there are so many young talented people though it's so exciting mm -hmm. you know what I mean it's like um, you know him Cody is great as well and it's very exciting yeah. And Taylor Swift is an amazing songwriter. Oh, I, man. Yeah, she's she so is. relatable and so fun, and, you know, she's great, too. And you were actually in a Grace and Chance music video. Yeah. Which is awesome. oh, you guys are you guys, friends. Yeah, you guys have, like, <laughs> worked together, which yeah, is cool. Yeah, he's so sweet. He's also the sweetest person ever, so maybe oh, I'm jaded nice. to say that. But, um, yeah, there are, it's, it's exciting to see so many young performers that are singing and doing well. It's exciting. Well, we're so excited about your brand new single that finally Thank hit. You. I feel like we've been waiting for some new music from Ariana Grande. <laughs> yeah. We're putting and our hearts up. Here. Yes, we're putting definitely putting our hearts putting up, up for hey. you. And make sure you guys check out Ariana's brand new single, Put Your Hearts Up. It's on iTunes now, right? Woo! Yeah. Buy it. Awesome. And stay posted to Clever TV for more info on all of Ariana's upcoming projects, including a full length album. Yay. We can't wait. Thanks so much, Ariana, for Thank joining you us. Thank you for having me. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye guys.